there's a certain beauty in Shakespeare that you don't really get to experience in school just by reading it, but by doing it. And it's way more relatable than you think it is. I think that people have this impression that Shakespeare's plays are really pretentious and they don't see like the fun aspect to it. And I really think that our company is able to bring that out of us. I became all involved with the American Shakespeare Center and the Globe Theater in about the year 2004. I had become interested in the work of the people who are doing what is called the Original Practices Movement. In other words, I'm trying to ascertain what the texts were intended to be performed as. Original Practices has a lot of different elements to it. It can mean different things depending on the shows, but mainly the basis of it is to explore Shakespeare in the way that his players and his audiences may have seen his works. So for example, really making use of the uh, fourth wall breaking monologues wherein the actors are speaking straight to the audience. The lunatic, the lover, ah, and the poet are up. I did my first uh, Shakespeare production with Sandra Boynton in 2008, and I fell in love with the way she taught Shakespeare. Much of what you find on the page has nothing to do with the poetry qua sit and read. It's a shorthand for actors. This was how the parts were written down. And once you start to crack that code a little, the verse moves much faster. They are less introspective and more interactive with the audience. And it's magic. It's magic. Working with Will Kemp's is, is very much like an artistic family. We decided a few years back, let's get together and do a show. Uh, Sandy had always wanted to direct Twelfth Night, and so that's the show we did in our, in our first season. And I think every time we do a show, we find a new reason to be doing it when we're doing it. Swifter than the wandering moon. Come by, Lord, and our flight. As Will Kemp's players, um, we are, as far as we know, the first and perhaps only worker-owned theater cooperative in the United States. What that means is that we actually hearken back to the original way that Shakespeare had run his company. The profits from the ticket sales for each performance were actually split evenly among the performers and production crews that were there at that time. You are actually supporting not just the performance and not just the actor's ability to kind of like rise in fame and have more work and build a portfolio, but also that they rise together as a theater community. Why Shakespeare? For me, the text is so beautiful and so full of life and full of wisdom and I think it's amazing that it has lasted this long you know it's 400 plus years after these works were written here we are still performing them and still discovering new things about them and they're still applicable to our world and I think that that is just incredible. Shakespeare can be appreciated by anyone from anywhere. We want to take this immediacy of live theater in an immediate way and speak truth to all y'all sitting in the seats.